Hello all you beautiful gamers, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to a very important video, that being the first ever annual CDL Snake Draft. It's me, Hunter, Pete behind the camera. Today we take our top picks throughout the entire Call of Duty League season with a little bit of a fun competition for all of you guys back home. We will each be picking four teams in a Snake Draft style and whoever comes out on top will something there will be rewarded at the very end. Pete, if you want to explain the series and then we'll get these picks under freaking yep. way. The rules are going to be really simple. It's going to be snake draft style. We're going to draw our draft order here in a second. And uh, besides that, you get a point every time your team wins a series for the entire year. You'll wind up with four teams, and at the end of the year, there will be a prize for the person who has the most points, the winner, and some sort of horrific punishment for the person in last place. And that's a key thing there. There will be a punishment for the losers, and the winner pretty much just gets to survive. There will be a point, in case you guys did not hear it, for each series, not each map or game win, but each series win, at the end of the season, whoever has accrued the most points with their four selected teams, well, you come out on top. Hunter, yep. this will be interesting for you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, as everyone here knows, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much an expert as far as professional Call of Duty players go. Uh, and Jake, so, please, I mean, uh, I please stop breaking the draw. Oh, sorry. Oh, are oh, you just picking ahead of time? You're just, just already getting ready. Okay, all right. Yes, he's our local Call of Duty expert, so shall we select the order? Let's do it. All right, in this hat, our numbers, numbers I shall pull. First off for Jake, what's Jake's number? I think that's the one you wanted me to pull, so I'm gonna pull a different one. Unless you were trying to give me a good number. The number I pulled is... Can't open it, it's all right. Oh man, Post the notes. classic Jake can't open anything. <laughs> this is the classic unboxing right here. Yeah, as expected there, folks, I will be receiving the number one overall pick in the annual CDL Snake Draft Hunter. Your turn, sir. Hunter's well, I, up now, pick. I think you must have placed this one in front of me. <laughs> Or maybe you organize it so I, I actually that put one. a secret number in there that makes <laughs> no sense. <laughs> There's another one. All right, we got. Hard to open, isn't it? It is. It's a two, though. It's Can a two. We, I'm not even gonna. We'll open trust it. it. It's number yeah. two. That That's means. That's fine. I mean, I'm coming in wow. third. Wow. One, two, three. As expected, the picks have now been drawn. A snake draft order has now also been applied. If you guys don't know how snake drafting works, well, welcome to the game. Am I allowed to select right off the bat? Yep. And now, with the first pick. Jake Lucky's on the clock. Our first ever 2021 CDL Snake Draft. This one's just obvious, guys. Straight up, they're the former reigning champions from CDL Season 1. Me and Pete talked about this beforehand. If we were given the number one overall pick, this just makes the most sense. I was considering FaZe, but I have to go with the one, the only, Dallas Empire. After an opening kickoff weekend, 3-0, the subliners, the Dallas Empire are easily my overall number one pick. It's hard to argue with that. They looked insane. They might have actually gotten better like no, like no knock on Clayster, but like having the three young dudes and Krim, and then Krim looking out of his mind at yep. times. Yeah, that's a that's a solid first pick. All right, and now we're back on the clock with Hunter with the second pick. So I'll be honest, I probably would have picked Empire there just because of my. I mean, I got retweeted by Krim at one point. It, yeah, brag, it was a Pikachu. brag, brag. It was it was a good tweet. That's all I'm saying. No one sends you jerseys. I yeah, that. <sighs> That's true. Uh, so I'll probably roll with uh, just the hype here. And I'm going to go with Optic as my pick. All right. Optic should cut the other 3 0 from the weekend. A strong, strong contender for sure. About to destroy this. And player. the first pick to be put in an opposite group for our uh, how CDL is actually operating their stages, I would say a pretty good pick based off scrim results. I don't think it would have been my second pick, but certainly would have probably been obviously all of our top threes. So, all right. And now me. With the third and fourth pick, because we're doing this snake draft This style. is where it gets so cheeky. If you get the number three overall in a snake draft, you get back-to-back -back picks from first round it's to second true, round. but then I'm done for like half an hour. True, but this these top four did matter, so this is crucial from Pete. All number right. three and number four. So number three, oh, I know that they lost to the Mutineers, but it was a really close series, and you've got to, I mean, the tiny terrors are always going to come through in the end. So it's got to be Atlanta phase for number three. It yeah, definitely a solid choice, I would say, especially because they won the most series last season. And if anything got better with our cities and the new leadership there, I, that would have been definitely yeah, they basically my next choice. Made e United all over again, which is pretty gross. And number four there, Peter. All right, now back on the clock at number four. I'm going to go with the team that beat FaZe. I'm going to go with the Mutineers. They came on real strong at the end no! of the last year. And now I've ruined Jake's life. God, dude. I don't I'm... know why Jake thought the Mutineers were going to fall to six, but whatever. But well, I'm picking the Mutineers. No, this pick. just puts me in a tough role. Congratulations, Pete. I, I do think if we're giving first quick first quick uh, taste out there, getting FaZe and Florida on your roster for wins this season, that's going to be tough to overcome. 
And on the clock with the fifth pick again is Hunter. As we know, again, resident expert here, I think their zero and three outing just really looked good. And I mean, Dunkey had some harsh things to say about their complex, but I'm gonna roll with the thieves. I'm just gonna go with them. A lot of experts like them. Even with that 0 and 3, a lot of people think they're top four. Very much true. Yeah, a lot of the pros still know the talent they got there. And I am just, uh, I don't I don't like this snake draft <laughs> anymore. And on the clock in with pick number six and pick number seven is Jake. You know what, boys? You both got really solid picks in terms of snaking, which is ironic when we talk about Call of Duty. You guys got some great, great solid picks. I do believe when it comes time for the bottom half of the teams, and especially the bottom four or five, you guys are going to have your work cut out for you. I get back-to-back -back picks here. I'll go first and foremost, the prettiest face in all of Call of Duty. That's going to be Young Attach. He's now in my lineup. Uh, I liked Rocker early on last season. Obviously did make some pretty big changes, as most teams did but I think a lot of teams still fear them for a reason, and I choose them because I would be swapping them back and forth with one of the better leaders all time in Call of Duty. Yes, again, certainly with the loss of Zuma. It's going to be a tough pick, but I think it's a pick I borderline have to make unless the remainder team's going to surprise me. I hope they do. New York subs, the train boys are now also on my lineup. Oh, Jake Hunt with number seven taking the, the sub liners. 03 outing did not dissuade them. You know what? When you lose 03 to also my first pick, hey, you know, I get a point either way if they meet up again. So, hey. It's, it's also early season. They just replaced Zuma. They had like four days to practice. I love, it's a good pick. And on the clock with the eighth pick <clears throat> is Hunter. All right, next up, this one is probably the one I've thought about the most, I'm going to be honest. And oh, yeah, you thought about it. Yeah, I, I was like really intentional on this one, and it was mostly due to their logo. Um, I think it looks a lot like Spider Gwen. Um, and so if you've seen those Spider-Man movies, you know I'm going with the LA Gorillas here. They had a good 3-2 outing. They beat the Surge. They're the constant rivalry at the bottom of the CDL last year yeah, with Surge the LA and LAG. The LA team trying to hang on to LA. I would say, yeah, a decent pick. At this point, I really can't question too many choices. <laughs> the LA Dr. Disrespect. Oh, the LA Speed. Speed coming in hot. <laughs> and now starting with uh, pick number nine, I've got pick number nine and pick number ten. I think with pick number nine, I'm, I'm going to go with the last winning team on the board from opening weekend, Paris Legion. You know, I love Scraps. I'm sad Weston's not with him, but I think he showed that, you know, that's a that's a solid team. Paris is going to be, I think, a big step up from last year. I think it'll be the better over the seas team, although they're all in America, of course. But I, I, think, I, I think you and me fall in the same shoes. I think that's a good pick. Anyway. All right, and now on to the 10th. This is the hardest one, because I think all three, like, I think there's way more parody in the league this year. Surge had moments where, like, Prestini was, like, playing out of his mind. And all these teams, I think, lost two, three games. Like, they lost, they were two out of three losers, so they were all good. Oh, I think I have to pick, I think I've got to pick the Ultra. I think the Ultra played real tough wow. against the Rocker. I'm not gonna say anything because I don't want to influence my pick. But man, like, like it's it's a tough pick, and I think I think there's value in all three teams, which is I agree. crazy. I, I wouldn't think have said can, that last. Year. I think you can make up either side for a lot of these picks. With the second to last pick, which basically with both of the last picks, if you think about it, is Hunter with the 11th pick. Oh, true, you pick for me. Yeah, so I'm picking for Jake here and for myself. I have to say, between the two, there's a lot of thought going into this one as well, just so you know. And so it, it, originally, you look at Seattle, right? They've got the alliteration. It sounds great, Seattle Surge. Seattle Surge. But then you go into London, Royal Ravens, alliteration again, and they've got Vicstar, right? I mean, come on, who doesn't like Vicstar? <laughs> Sidemen? Give me the roll of ratings. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hate myself at the end of the season if you somehow win this. I will want to say really quickly, because you obviously choose the surge for me, I'm not surprised to see them on here. I actually had them very last on my pick as well, but thought I might end up with them. Really quickly, I do want to argue, these are some heated members we have talked about, right? These are guys like Gunless, as well as Pristini, who were lightly screwed over last season. If Octane and those guys can actually keep up to what they're expected is expected of them they have a lot of potential but i will say management in seattle was god awful last season if there is trouble on the starting roster who's to say they're even allowed to make changes it's an it's, and again first opening weekend was not something too bright but thank you for giving me the surge okay yeah, yeah. absolutely they i am the underdog yeah they lost in a 3-2 match it was a close match they had mm -hmm. periods where octane even gunless all kind of went off in games and they are like the they're like the the outcast team, like Octane. They really yeah, are. Octane basically didn't want the team he was playing on last year. Gunless got booted. 
Prestini played on two different teams last year, and now he's on his third team, and he's, he's split from our cities again. It's a crazy team, but they have a lot to prove if they can just keep. The big thing is like, will that chemistry work? Yeah, 100%. and they keep it together. Yeah. Either way, we now conclude our first ever CDL Snake Draft, and of course, uh, yeah, congratulations to you guys on your pickings. I think we all have our advantages and disadvantages with our picks. It's going to be a very exciting season of back and forth. At the end of the day, guys, all right, we're not experts in Call of Duty. There is so much to try and guesswork. You're not okay. an expert in Call of Duty. I'm a. We only have one expert here on Call of Duty, but these players they change titles every single year anything can happen we can only wish all of them the best of luck and we'll see you guys sometime soon with an update on the cdl snake draft and all of our teams and who uh holds the lead during the season and ultimately who wins the season so if you guys had picks similar you know leave a comment down below who you would be picking and we'll catch you all back here next time take care